All right, welcome back. I'm Aaron Heiser of Makers Leather Supply, and in this video, we are going to make the shoulder strap for the mail bag. Uh, we did two previous videos on making the bag itself. Um, real nice little bag, uh, very, uh, I guess the word would be unisex. Like, I've used this bag to carry stuff around. My wife has used one to use as a purse. Um, as a matter of fact, it's kind of nice if she uses it to wear as a purse because she'll be like, oh, hold my purse, and I don't, I don't mind. So, yeah, there we go. Um, this is the one we built in the videos. Uh, this is a one that I built previously. Just trying to get my pattern right and everything. I put the Western or Union Pacific logo on this one. But anyway, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to make the strap. Now, the strap is really big because, um, again, my size. Uh, I'm a big guy, and I like to, to cross-sling this. Um, and yeah like my little computer tablet and stuff like that all fit in here and i mean i've, I've carried this thing around for days with no issues um so anyway we're going to make a, a nice long strap for it and i'm making this strap as its own video because this style of strap i i make it on a lot of bags um, i take the the leather from the body of the bag and i cut a big wide strip then i fold it over and put the the leather from the straps of the bag um over the seam so anyway, I just thought maybe it could be its own dedicated video to, uh, to help some people that are maybe just looking for a video on straps. So here's how it starts out. I have a three and a half inch wide strip of canvas. All right, I'm gonna put the camera down here on the, uh, on the desk and not on me. I have a three and a half inch wide strip of canvas. Now, the way I made, or the way I even figured out to make a three and a half inch strip of canvas, I have a very long ruler that is two inches wide, and I have another one that's one and a half inches wide. And I put the two of them on my piece of canvas and cut the strip out. Um, and then when I folded it over like it ought to be, then it just became the perfect size. So I kind of need to figure out a length for this thing. I'm gonna throw it over my shoulder here, kind of figure out where I want it. And uh, this is the entire length of a piece of, uh, canvas um, so honestly this is probably going to be just fine um, I think that's what that other one was too which means it makes it like 60 inches I mean this is a big big strap but hey maybe it can double as a toe strap or something who knows that's t-o-w not t-o-e <laughs> so anyway so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of uh, double-sided tape a little bit wider um, you can use a couple of uh, pieces of the narrower if you don't have the wide tape and I'm going to put it right down the middle of this uh, big piece of canvas, okay, from end to end. And this is a very simple uh, handle design, or sorry, strap design, but it's also a really good strap design. Um, I, again, I've used it on lots of bags. It's easy to do, quick to do, and it works well, so it matches all the criteria I need it to match. Alrighty, so now that I've done that, I am going to take the protective paper off the back of the tape. Okay. Like so. And then I'm going to fold it over to itself. All right, I'm going to fold this side about to the middle of the tape, and then I'll fold the other side about to the middle of the tape. Okay. So that when it's done, it will only be about one and three quarter inches wide or so. Okay. The leather piece that I'm going to cover this with is one inch wide. And the reason I chose one inch wide is because my hardware for the clips one inch hole in that. Seriously? I don't know if you can hear that, but the thing keeps rocking back and forth. So I'll put it in the drawer until I need it. It's kind of weird. So anyway, um, it, it takes some time to just go all the way down it. And it's okay if it's not perfectly straight. Um, the biggest thing is, is when the other side's done, they need to meet uh, each other, the, the ends that you're folding over. And as long as they meet each other, then you're going to be okay um, as far as the consistent width of the strap. Okay. 
Uh, we did this uh, bag as part of the mystery box this month, or well, it is the mystery box this this past month. And um, we did include a long piece of canvas for everybody, but we did not cut it down into the three and a half inches. Um, so yeah, it was just roughly cut at you know four or more inches so people could cut it down themselves. So I challenge you to get uh, get um, experimental if you don't have the, the rulers like I have. Um, I believe a 2x4 is 3.5 inches wide nowadays, which is funny considering it's called a 2x4. Alright, I finished that one side, now I'm going to do the other side, and again, I'm just going to make the two marry up right there in the middle area. And that'll be that. Second side's actually easier because you don't need to worry about if you're in the middle, you just need to butt it up to the other side. This, um, besides of course making it a much more decorative than just a regular strap for the, for the uh, shoulder strap, um, it also makes it really comfortable. Uh, if you had heavy stuff in a bag like this, or any bag, um, you know, for its weight to be dispersed over an inch and a half, inch and three quarter wide strap is a lot better than for it to be just dispersed over a one inch strap. So it'll be a lot more comfortable to carry around or to carry for um, long times. I made a, uh, like a big, I don't know, for lack of a better term, a, a business type uh, case or, or bag a long time ago. And I just put a one inch strap, it was, I mean, it was nice. It was lined and everything and sewn, but it was just a one inch strap. And when I was traveling and I carried that thing through airports and stuff, it really was a pain to, uh, you know, towards the end of the day, I was, I was getting pretty tired of carrying it. And then I made me a little addition to it, just a little pad that went on it that slid on. And after that, it worked great. And I had no problem carrying it for long times. All right. Now, almost got ahead of myself. So now I'm going to take another piece of double-sided tape and run it right down that. And that's where the leather's going to stick. camera all the way down there on the end but all I'm doing is just continuing to go down it alrighty so there it goes now what I'm gonna do is take my strap and I did make sure before I started all this that my leather strap was longer than my um, canvas strap was. So I'm going to take my one inch end punch here and just round off the end up there. Okay. Um, then I'll set my punch to the side because I will need it again in a moment. I'm going to leave about an inch and a half or so of it off the edge of here because that's what's going to fold over and attach this. Now we do have a naked edge to our canvas right here but like I said we left that one naked edge on our bag and it kind of all ties it together. It makes it look more um, to me it makes it look more um, authentic and, uh, and, and I guess vintage and I mean this is totally a vintage themed bag so um, again, with how we're doing this, you're not going to have a problem with it fraying too much other than just seeing a nice little bit of fray there. You don't need to worry about its like structural integrity due to fraying. All right. All I'm going to do is stick this strap, leather strap, right down the middle of the canvas. That's it. And we're going to sew it. And that's it. And then we're going to rivet it. And that's it. <laughs> it's a very simple way to do this. And it looks nice. It looks professional. It's comfortable. I mean, I think we've already gone over all the reasons that this is an okay strap.
All right. So I'm going to get it down here to the end. And just like how I rounded off the other end, I'm going to go about an inch and a half or so out. And round it off. Now, I am going to the sewing machine, and I'm just going to sew all the way down and around this entire strap. Okay? I'm going to sew even like what I get here. I'll go off the edge of it and just continue sewing around the leather. And that way it looks nice and finished because people will see that back side right there. Okay? Um, I will pause the camera and move it over to the sewing machine and uh, we'll sew it together. All right, here we are. Class 18, same machine I sewed up the rest of the bag on. I'm going to throw the excess of this uh, strap over my shoulder here and just let it run right through the machine. No big secret to it. I'm just going to keep it straight and make it go. boring I know There's nothing worse than sewing straps but it's nice because if I have my edge guide on here I just use my other hand and hold it to the edge guide and then I can drink coffee or send a text or you know whatever I'm not advocating for texting and sewing it can be dangerous but I do it Same way we do all the others. Doing our rotation while the needle's down so that the um, stitch length remains the same. exciting part. Just kidding. We're just going down the other side. Done. 
probably could have sped up the sewing machine from a little bit for this. I'm sure you watching the video are saying you still could. the original point so I'll just navigate the needle into that first hole do a couple of stitches to lock it in there we go now let's finish this sucker only takes a minute to make this one as long as your pieces are already cut out cutting out your pieces are the longest part of it all right I'm gonna spin your camera around There we go. Now, real simple. These hooks don't swivel as far as this would turn if this was a swivel hook. So when I build this, I've got to make sure that this open face is down because that's just the right way to do it. Okay? If it were up, then the strap would be backwards. We don't want it backwards. So, put the, the hook on the end so I can get my spacing right. I find my hole punch. punch a hole. Now, I bet you could have guessed what was next. We're going to set one of these fun brass rivets that I love so much. So, we'll put the rivet, this is the finished side, so they will put the rivet in there all the way through to the back side. Move my cutting board out of the way. Put my washer on my rivet. Grab this tool that was rocking a while ago. And being annoying. Grab it back out of the drawer. Alright. Cut off the end of it. And then we will that down. When I peen one of these down, I kind of feel on it and make sure that I can't like catch my finger, the skin on my finger on it. And if I can't, then I'm good. If I can, then I peen down the edges of it a little bit more, just so it doesn't snag on clothing and stuff like that. There we go. All right, I'm going to do that exact same thing over here, but I'm not going to make you watch it. So pause the video, be right back. All right, so now this end matches that end. There they are. And we pull our bag up here, clip these suckers on, make sure it's not twisted again, it's a long one, so there it is. Looks as cool as it is, so um, again, a real easy way to do a strap, uh, works well, looks good. You can make it match your leather, um, you know, like most of my bags have 
a scrap material and then the base uh, leather material that I've used on it. Um, and you, it's a way to put both of those into the strap and make them match. Um, so anyway, hope it was helpful for you. I uh, appreciate you watching. If you like what you saw, please hit the subscribe button and you will get notifications when more videos come out. So until next time, I'm Aaron Heiser, Makers Leather Supply. Have a good day.